Greetings all on this uh, March the second day. Uh, my name is Claudia Manchanda, Radical Herbalist, and here I am at the Hampstead and Hill Pergola looking at a plant whose botanical name is Berberis aquifolium. It's also known as Barbary and Mahonia, and it's the source of a chemical that's one of the most studied chemicals in herbal medicine called um, berberin. And if I just scratch off a bit of let me see if I can scratch a bit off. Hold on, I don't think I can. Hold on. Maybe I'll do it in a minute. Oh, here we can. You can see the yellow. I don't want to hurt the plant too much. And it contains chemicals called alkaloids, isoquinyl alkaloids, which are attributed to a lot of the medicine of this plant. As you can see, it has beautiful canary coloured yellow flowers that actually have a really delightful smell and it has these um, sort of holly looking like leaves that are very shiny or glabrous and this whole section here this whole sort of stalky bit is considered as one leaf section and if you look at the branch the leaves come off in alternates they don't face each other so it's one of the ways of identifying the plant so this plant is known as a jovial plant or it's under the dominion of jupiter and in herbal medicine recently there's been a lot of controversy around using astrology with herbal medicine but i find it really invaluable to kind of understand the energetics of plants and whether you believe in astrology or you don't, you can use it as a kind of mind mapping of the plant. So because it's a jovial plant, it affects um, or it's linked to conditions um, to do with expansion. So that could be like a bloated belly. Um, jovial plants are also associated with the liver and with blood formation. And this herb is definitely a liver stimulating herb. In fact, it's quite stimulating that if someone has a bile duct blockage or um, liver disease, you might actually need to have caution with it because it's very, very strong, but it's a bitter tonic. And in herbal medicine, there's a saying that bitter is better. And bitter basically switches on your digestive secretions. It makes you stimulate bile from the liver. And so this herb is choleretic and that means it stimulates bile. It's also a cholagogue, which means it's, it stimulates the secretion of bile. And bile helps you digest fat. Um, it helps, um, it's a digestive, so it helps reduce bloating and wind. It speeds up the recovery from illness. And it's a particular remedy for overindulgence. If you've had a really greasy meal or eaten too much sugar, it's a herb that I think about taking myself. And it can also be used as an aperitif to stimulate digestion before you have a meal. In something called the Doctrine of Signatures, where you look for patterns in plants to work out how it works in the body, this yellow colour that I showed you, if we go in there, you can see it the yellow colour from the piece of the the piece of the um, bark that I scratched off is the same colour as bile so you can think about this plant sort of emulating bile um, in traditional cultures it is the root of the plant that's used to expel afterbirth and also stripping away the underbark you have to remember that if you strip away the root of this huge plant I'm just going to go back you might kill the whole plant. So often in herbal medicine, it's best to just take bits of the plant that sustain the plant for future generations. Um, a constitution type that might benefit from Berberis aquifolium is someone who's prone to bad breath, to gum disease, to constipation and lethargy, to IBS, diarrhea, that has a red tongue and often needs to pee a lot and craves sugar. Um, I'm now going to take you to one of the plants that's actually got the grapes on it because it's called Oregon grape. Just while we're walking over to the other Berberis bush I thought I'd show you this tree because it's so pretty where we are right now. It's so gorgeous here. So here we are at another 
um, another bush of, is it a bush? Another um, Berberis. And you can see why it's called Oregon grape. And you can see the grapes, these aren't ripe yet. When they're fully ripe, they are a deep uh, purple color and they have a really beautiful juice and they're very tart and rich in vitamin C and um, they can be used um, to make medicine, they can be used to stimulate appetite and they can be made into a tincture, syrup and jam. Um, in traditional medicine the grapes nourish the blood. And what I didn't include at the beginning of this video is that it's actually a native Turtle Island plant um, and it's indigenous to the Pacific Northwest. So there, you, there we have it, Berberus aquifolium is the botanical name, Mahonia is an, a common name or, um, or Bearberry and um, I could not find any um, indigenous names I did look so I need to, so if anyone sees this video knows any of their indigenous names of this um, plant I'd love to know what they are bye